Hi, this is a, a short movie that will uh, detail how to extract pin delay information from an MCM file. Um, the MCM file is the substrate that's used to attach the die to the actual BGA balls. Um, this video is, is a companion to the instructions found on SharePoint called importing pin delay information. So you can see I've opened up an MCM file in Allegro Package Designer or uh, APD as it's called. And the first thing you want to do when you look at this file is you want to go to Design Parameters and make sure the units are set in the same units that your board is set to uh, so the report will sync with your board and give you correct information. I've already set this to mills. Typically it's done in microns, but uh, I've set it to mills, which is what my board is. Um, then I want to look at uh, just the top and bottom layers. You can see it looks a lot like Allegro. Uh, some things are called a little different, but it's nothing too difficult to figure out. Then I want to edit properties on all the nets on the board. I go to edit properties, set my fine filter to nets only, and select the entire thing it brings this up what I want to do is I want to delete this voltage property from all of the nets right now choose done and then I want to go back and I want to apply that same voltage property to every net on the board with the exception of the DDR nets and the reason we do that is because it'll speed up the report because we're only concerned with the DDR nets at this point. We don't need length reports for all the other uh, signals on the board. And if you're doing it and you're trying to output uh, data for the voltages, it'll take forever to run. So again, I go to my fine filter. Uh, I'm in edit properties right now. Uh, choose nets only and I want to do a find by name. I click on the more button. It gives me a pop-up with all the nets in the board. I want to select all these. I click on the all button with the arrow to the right and it dumps them all into the selected pane. Uh, then I want to go through and, and unselect all the DDR nets. There's a lot of them in here. Um, I do not want to grab the DDR voltages. I just want to go through the, uh, unfortunately there's no real easy way to grab all these nets other than doing it one by one, so uh, sorry for the delay. But just look through, like I said, you don't want to grab any of the power nets because it, it, it'll just take way too long um, to generate the report and we don't really care about the power nets on uh, on the uh, DDR anyway we're not concerned with the length of those okay so I've selected those they're all here so now it gives me say okay brings me back to the edit property window and I want to apply the voltage net a voltage property to all these and the voltage property needs a value so remember I'll just type in one doesn't matter what you type in here but what it happens when you generate the report it'll ignore any net that has this voltage property on it. Click done. The next step now that I've prepped the signals is you go to file export board level component and it gives you a little pop-up here uh, gives you options HDL is fine. I don't want a time delay report I just want a length delay report. I click OK and then it shows me another pop-up where I am to select the uh, pad associated with the uh, end of the net which is the ball pad you can see the way they name it is very obvious I select ball pad I click OK um, and then it just says it's going to overwrite what we've already done which is fine I click yes and it starts dumping the information for us. and if you've only selected those DDR nets it's a pretty quick process um, that's why we go through that up front 